Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. I'm BEP2009 Jet, and today I'm making um, not an LCPDFR on patrol or an on patrol or let's play of any kind. Uh, today is another tutorial video that I will be releasing. Um, hopefully, yeah, we should be on this screen. Don't, I'm a little afraid. Um, mouse, I have two screens, so I thought I'll set it up on this screen. So, um, as you can see by the title, and most likely while you're watching this, we are learning how to make skins for um, vehicles. So we're going to need a photo manipulation software, so I'm using GIMP, um, Photoshop, Paint.net, if you really have to, I think you could suffice with Paint. It's all gone to the wrong screen. Can I, can I just do that? Um, oh, this is so painful. Oh, okay. no, okay, I'm going to stick over here. Cheesy. Okay, so this is my um, manipulation program. Um, as I said, I just use GIMP. Excuse me, if you heard that. Um, it's just all your toolbars and everything. So we're going to go to open. Not even going to do that, okay? Because <clears throat> then you'll see everything on my desktop anyway. So this is the uh, template that we're going to be using. It's by well, High Speed Designs there. It's, um, oh, it's by BX Bugs and BX Bugs 1, 2, 3 and JM Designs. So normally JM Designs actually make the templates themselves and BX Bugs makes the skins. So um, we'll just dr I'll drag this into the manipulation software. Now this comes in a template pack. Um, I have multiple, this is version 4 and I do actually have version 3 as well which is less cars and older cars. Um, so what you want to what blah, 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 what you're going to want to do first is um, down to layer. So if that's not there, you go up to layer, new layer. Um, just it always helps to call your skin, just the size of the photo, and you want to make sure it's white. So from there, you can make your car white, but you go down here to opacity, and you put it on about fifty percent. Yeah, unless it does that, <laughs> fifty percent to do that, and that. Um, just means your layer is 50% opaque, so you can see what you're doing because it's hard to you, you can see where you're lining up with the cars. So um, this isn't going to be a great demonstration, considering I suck at making skins um, to start with. This is um, this is a skin I've made at the moment. I, I like it personally. You will see it in my uh, one of my new videos. We're patrolling the airport again, but this is the best skin I could make. Um, stole it from a car from Australia. It's a security company, and it just—I I think it looks good. But anyway, um, so this is for a 2013 Explorer. So we'll just zoom in, um, and what we can do here is, what, what can we do? Ready? We'll just. What 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 tools? I don't. I, don't, I haven't even really played. Um, what if we? If we go like down and and there, hmm? why didn't that match? Okay, so um, yeah, we'll pick red. We'll go to our bucket tool and fill that in red. Now you can still see through it, and it's just on the skin there. But if we if we make it a hundred. If we make it a hundred, and I actually do what I'm saying I'm doing, you can see it's all just red, and that will eventually be the skin, um, or the live livery, or the the texture. So it's always easier if you can just copy the object, and uh, it, it does what it, you tell it to. So as you can see, we've now got a pasted layer. Just bring it up here. Go. Uh, I use Shift F, but there is a flip tool there. On the toolbar, once again, if you're using Photoshop, it's going to be different, unfortunately, and there's not much I can do about that. Um, just line it up. So this is always the hard bit. I like to try and... That's, that's actually about it. So then just anchor that layer, and it's there. It, it will be a different color because the template on the bottom is different. This is the light pink, and this is a blue, so it will throw the original colors off. But just to show you, that is actually the original skin, and I'm liking where this is going. So I might actually 
Um, help if you don't set it to 500, guys. <laughs> there's people that do this professionally, and then there's me. Um, so if we switch it over, what can we do? Um, maybe, maybe we can uh, paintbrush. So it's just white. Take stripes out, and bam! Uh, wow, it would help if they were actually on a um an angle, and not me going. Oh yeah, that look nice. Yeah, that's cool. So if we can space it out, I don't think it looks good actually. Now, see, this is where it gets hard. You like you get your one shape, and then things start getting dodgy. So and because I've actually, if I go R for the rectangle tool, if I cut this out here and then I paste it, will it paste the whole? I don't know, maybe it won't. So I can flip that and I can move it. Um, the thing is, you won't see the pasted layer and we we'll anchor it. And actually, there you have it. This is one of my best skin making. <coughs> sessions I've ever had and I'm just making it up on the spot. So basically this is the short hand of what you do. Then you just get some ah oh, jeez. Why am I doing so bad at the opacity to opac yeah um today. So um I, I've got some other fonts installed. What do I have? Be Beavis? Be so I use in the other one. Um size forty five don't use editor, nope. And then just put along here. Uh not gonna want your font to be red. So we've got a red and white car. Maybe we want our font to be blue, just to you know, mix it up a little. So um I like bold and italic and then just place uh, I don't know where I want it yet, so I like to make it so it will fill in the whole uh, width of the box, because uh, not the width, the height. So then eventually, if it does, see that's a bit too big. If it, if we take it back down to seventy, no. See how it's filled up the whole box? Then I can just come in here, shorten that. And that didn't actually do what I wanted to, but then I can go into. Sh no, it hasn't worked like I've wanted it to. Uh, if I go edit, edit. Thank you very much. Okay, so now it's just that. So now if I drag that along, and voila. Um, now there is a rotate tool. I wish there was a tilt tool. Um, because tilting would make it much more professional. Um, as far as I know, I've said I'm a lot actually. As far as I know, the only way you can actually tilt the font is if you were to um, it write the letters individually. And I, I'm not going to go into the trouble. So then I just go du du duplicate layer, press M to get into my move tool. Um, now, when, as you can see, the hand comes up. The hand means that you're moving the layer above it, so quite often you'll move the template, whereas the direct arrow means, well, exactly that. You're just moving, the, I mean, the direct crosshair, you're just moving that. So, that's about right. Yeah, yeah works. Um, eventually, you'll end up just merging everything down. So, uh, what have I done? What have I done, guys? Um, no, back again. If I if I merge this down, it's. I'm gonna be truthful with you. I watched a very vague video of what to do, and you kind of you kind of learn what to do from there. You just that's not done what I wanted it to do at all. So you just you just kind of pick things up as you go along, and don't be too hard on yourself. I I have um, many many failed attempts of making skins, and it they just sit on my computer. To be honest, they just 
there's nothing to do with them, so why, you know, there's no point beating yourself up about it, You same with everything in life, really, just give it your, sh give it your best, and you can't complain. Anyway, I'm going to end this here, uh, might just drag this box out again. Uh, actually, no, that's perfect. You're an idiot. Not you guys, I meant me. Shift T. Uh, back this way. Now, that's probably actually too big. Scale. Yes, it is. Scale M. Okay, so yeah, that's. It's getting too big. Um, I normally do the car bit by bit. Come to think of it, I should probably just be playing, doing this like any normal person would and just copy the whole copy the whole thing and then flip it like I've shown um, I don't why is it doing that I'll merge down now this is a hundred percent if I yeah if I change it to 50 everything goes to 50 it's because I've scaled the text I don't don't know why why is it doing this I don't like it uh, oh well, anyway, I hope you've gotten the hint, if you need more help, I will do hopefully a more in-depth video, there are videos out there to show you what to do, I just thought people have requested this, and I want to, I want to show at least a, um, a mild attempt of what to do, it, the design, I'm, I've shown you everything technical, you know, if you know how to use GIMP, or you know how to use Photoshop, that's fine, if you don't, Go out, learn it. It's not that hard. There's tutorials out there. I've just shown you that basically you need opacity in there so you can see what you're doing. You need the template under there. Um, template you can get from LCPDFR or GTA Police Mods. Just search um, police car templates. Quite often if you download a vehicle, the template for that will come with it, especially if it's a uh, unknown vehicle like all of my new vehicles are Volvos and um, Mercedes, and they all come with the specific template so I can make skins for them anyhow um, this is yeah this is, this is all I can do, really do for you guys uh, yeah I, I kind of feel bad but yeah anyway thank you very much for watching and I'll be sure to see you next time for an on patrol a tutorial video or you know I might just sit here and talk to my computer <laughs> thanks for watching guys and be sure to comment rate favorite and subscribe thanks bye